So I'm really interested in uh, the question of whether epilepsy could begin when our brains first develop. And that's motivated by the observation that in some syndromes where epilepsy is really hard to treat and really common, they're caused by mutations in genes that are first expressed and used uh, by embryos when the brain is first developing. So to explore that, I'm going to take a model of brain development in a petri dish and look at healthy brains and compare that to ones with mutations in genes that cause some of those syndromes where epilepsy is really common and hard to treat. From that, um, I'll, I can take those organoids and compare how they develop. Um, I'd then like to look at certain aspects of the cells in those brains, in particular at the nucleus, because these genes have really important roles potentially in controlling how DNA is stored. And I hypothesize that um, atypical DNA storage can affect brain development and lead to electrical instability. So this is really pioneering research that's seeking to uncover uh, really new uh, and interesting ways in which epilepsy might develop as a disease. And through that we hope to be able to identify new treatment targets which will be particularly useful in conditions where current treatment strategies aren't um, as effective as we'd like them to be. So I'm doing uh, the Clinical Research Training Fellowship supported by the Medical Research Council and Epilepsy Research Institute. And that will really have profound impacts on my ability and uh, to do research, which will hopefully be high impact and help to transform the lives of people with epilepsy. Um, it's also transformative in terms of enabling me to bring in um, novel and leading technologies that can really bring new insights into the epilepsy field, um, such as the cortical brain organoids that my supervisor is a world leading expert in. They're kind of some of the most advanced models we have of early brain development, which my project um, really focuses in on. Thank you so much to the supporters of the Epilepsy Research Institute. It's only through their generosity that pioneering work like this is possible.